y'all? It's your girl Brittany, aka B Mac, and I'm back at it again with another freaking video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? As you guys can tell, this is day two of my vlog list, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. If you have not watched episode one, go back and watch the episode from yesterday. You might thoroughly enjoy that video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before we get into everything that we're going to get into, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up again before the video starts, because why not? As cute as I am, you want to just give me a thumbs up off of how cute I am? I mean, I would. If you are a returning viewer to my channel, welcome back. Nice to see you here. And if you are new, like I said, my name is Brittany, aka B Mac. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. You guys are welcome here anytime. If you came here today, feel free to come back tomorrow. This is family here, this is home. We can do that for sure. As you guys can tell from the title, I will be running down five things I wish I knew before I locked my hair. And actually, it's coming out of five things I wish I knew. It's more so like a things to avoid or just five things you should know before you lock your hair. Things I had to find out the hard way, which really ain't really too much the hard way, but things I had to find out as my journey progressed. Before we even get into it, one last thing, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore it's the Mac underscore. When I tell you guys, I'm still getting used to this new Instagram name because it was Brit underscore nasty for the longest, literally for as long as I've had an Instagram. And then a couple of months ago, I just decided to change it to it's the Mac. So it is at underscore it's the Mac underscore I always forget the last underscore but anyway let's get into the video all right y'all so for those who have been watching my videos for the past year even though I don't really post videos that often um you guys might know that I started my vlog journey about a year ago um it was about October of 2021 and like I said it's we're in December 2022 if you haven't seen my one year lock anniversary video go ahead and click out of this video right now and just go to that one and then come back to this one might as well but um yeah I've been locked for about a year now and I did cheat my way into the lock industry well not the industry I did cheat my way into the lock community because I did do instant locks now before I did my instant locks I honestly didn't do that much research that much research on them because it really didn't matter to me I was gonna lock my hair regardless and to be honest if it didn't turn out well I was just gonna cut my hair off because I've cut it off before I was contemplating cutting it before I did my lock so I really didn't care about how it I really didn't too much care to dive that deep into how to get started because whether it worked out or not I, if it worked out I'm cool if it don't I don't care I'll cut my hair it really didn't matter first thing that I wish I knew before I locked my hair products to avoid now with my hair as you can see I have like you know a little medium length whatever it's not too bad I look so freaking cute it's actually kind of ridiculous the products that I used on my hair when I first started locking my hair are not the same products that I use on my hair today why because the products that I was using at first were really alcohol based products and I did realize that my hair probably was experiencing dryness because of the products that I was using like yeah I feel like they got the job done but it's like at the cost of the healthiness of my hair which one do you want to do so some of the products that I used to use were okay so the first thing that I was using on my hair was this Murray's lock pomade um let me see I'm trying to I can't find a little picture of a, the lock pomade but this is another product that I also used to use from the Murray's line it was the gel the lock lock yeah the gel lock lock between the two products, I will say I did prefer the pomade over this gel because the gel is way too water-based and it's way too slippery and it does and it didn't hold my hair at all. Like I would do a retwist and then like a couple of days later, I would notice that like some of my re some of my um, locks were unraveling, especially like the three in the back. They would never really stay put. So I ended up trying to go back to the pomade that I was using because I noticed that it did hold better. But at the end of the day, 
I felt like it was causing some type of damage to my hair because I was experiencing kind of a lot of dryness. Like during the time when I was using these products, I found myself always having to like overly moisturize my hair. So I was literally spraying my hair multiple times a day with water and oil. I looked talking about applying so much oil straight to my to my um, scalp and putting it on my locks. I was doing a lot to keep my hair moisturized. And on top of that, I was using leave-in at the time. I felt like I was using way too many different products on my hair just to keep it looking and feeling a certain way. And honestly, now the products that I use, you can't even pay me to go back to these products. Like, if for whatever reason, the store runs out of the products that I'm using now, I would rather just go with my hair looking wild and crazy before I put something else other than what I've been using in my head. The products that I've been using now are um, Joy Natural. Shout out to my mom because she put me on these particular products. Like, swear by these products. And I did mention these in um, probably like a couple videos ago. I'm going to show you guys. This is the lock gel that I use now. Oops. Right there. Granted, the... um. The logo and everything, it does look a little bit different because this picture is from the brand's Instagram. And this is from 2018. They don't post a lot on their Instagram, but my mom uh, gets their products from a health food store. Um, or a natural food store. Um, and like I said, these products, if there's a spray, I forgot the oils that are in the spray, but it smells so, 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 so good. And it literally keeps my hair feeling soft. I spray my hair with it. I'm always spray my hair with uh, water first but then just go back in with that spray which I ran out I don't even have the bottle to show you um, the, the the spray but wet my hair spray it with the water and then spray it with that spray and literally we're good for the day I don't have to go back in and put all the other oils on my hair unless I want to but it's really not necessary um, and that gel pomade um, it's more of a like a dry gel, so it doesn't have water or alcohol in it whatsoever. It's all naturally der derived products. And literally, I can go weeks and weeks and weeks without getting a retwist. Like, this is Tuesday, December the 6th. I had, I got my hair retwisted on Thanksgiving. This is the same retwist from Thanksgiving. And it doesn't seem like it was that long away, but compared to what my hair would look like when I was using the other products, this is a blessing. And I was using the other products like legitimately trying to make sure I kept my hair done every two weeks. And it was like, that leads me to my next thing, which was over manipulation. Because like literally over manipulating my hair is something I wish that, not even that I would have known, but wishing that I wouldn't have done. <laughs> because um, obviously over manipulating or overdoing something, it can cause damage to your hair. And because my hair was like unraveling and it was getting frizzy too fast, I would always feel like I had to keep doing my hair to my next thing you good all right you good over oh, manipulating my locks is that my dog what are you doing hi boo boo what's up what's up what do you want i'm trying to shoot a video what Bless you, but I, if you just want to, I don't want to kick you out, but. So anyway, over manipulating your hair. When you are freshly starting your locks, I know you, people, you might want to play with them or whatever and try to see what hairstyles you can pull off and you might be trying to force the length that's really not there. Listen, no, let your hair do what it does naturally. Doing all the little hairstyles is cute or whatever, but honestly, when you are trying to train your hair to do certain things or when you're going through a process like locking your hair, doing too much to it can like seriously throw you off your path. I was literally forcing my hair into ponytails that my hair was not ready to be in just because, like I said, I cheated my way into the lock community. So I was trying to like regain, like retain some of my length, thinking that I would be able to do all these cute little styles with it like early on when in actuality, just because I did the instant locks that does not mean mean that my hair was ready to be in all the little ponytails and putting all the beads and the accessories and all of that it was just like girl you're doing way too much so now honestly with my hair most times you see me I'm gonna be just like this 
I just leave it alone. I used to love doing barrel twists, but honestly, barrel twists, they really hurt my scalp. When I put barrel twists in, I can't keep them in past the day. Like, I don't know how, how many times I tried to change how I do them, how heavy handed I am with my hair. Like, it just does not matter. My scalp is so freaking sensitive. My head literally hurts. If, yo, if it gets to the point, I'm the type of person, like, I don't like to take medicine. I don't, like, even with, like, cramps headaches, things like that, I don't take medicine. I just go take a nap, drink some water, and just let my body do what it does. It, I knew it was bad when I was literally asking people for Tylenol so that I could get rid of this headache because these damn barrel twists are literally killing me. laid off the barrel twist ponytails I try my best not to do too many ponytails even though my go-to is like a up down do um and now I recently realized that like I can actually fit my hair in a low pony I actually just took it out of a pony before I did this video but you know for the purpose of I want y'all to be able to really see my hair I took it out so yeah obviously the ones in the front they don't they don't go all the way back but ponytail ponytail yeah that's me anyway besides the point um i stopped with all the crazy styles i stopped with really even putting jewelry in my hair i just bought some of these y'all better come up here and get one of these what's that it's a chicken salad like around thanksgiving and i just put them in my hair but yeah with locks honestly less is more and trying to do too much to them you can't easily mess up your locks for example things like this like literally trying to force my hair into ponytails that they don't deserve to be in like the bottom of my lock you can tell this has happened from when i put it in the ponytail and it's like back here and the the scrunchie or whatever it is is like squeezing the bottom of this lock so now the bottom of this lock is like thin for no reason stuff like that so yeah leave your hair alone it looks good the way it is. You don't need all those crazy styles for you to feel like you're doing it with the locks. And that leads me to my next point. Um, when I started my lock journey, my hair was this color. It was red. I was going through this whole little thing where I really, really, really love this burgundy red lock well red hair situation in general. So I started my locks and I was just like, you know what? I want to be the girl with the little you know what I'm with the red locks. But the downside of that is nothing wrong with coloring your hair. But if you cannot afford, and one, if you don't know what you're doing when you're coloring your hair, don't color your hair. If you cannot afford to actually maintain your color and treat it properly, I don't care if you do or if you go to a stylist, do not color your hair. And I will tell you why. Obviously, coloring your hair or using those types of chemicals, it can be very detrimental to your hair, whether it's locked or whether it's free. It's even worse when you have locks and you do not take care of your hair because obviously your hair is in a state in which it is matted up. Can you imagine matted up harmful chemicals going untreated in your hair? What do you think is gonna happen? Me, I was going through a point in my life where um, I kind of got really lazy just in general, like part of the reason why I locked my hair is because I really didn't want to have to feel like I'm doing anything with my hair. So like I said, I found myself always trying to put them in like different styles, doing the barrel twist, all this other stuff. And it was just like, girl, that literally defeats the purpose of you locking your hair. So I got really lazy. I literally stopped oiling my hair. Like it was to a point where I was literally just spraying my little spray bottle and just go. Or sometimes I wouldn't even do that. It was times where I'm not even wearing a scarf anymore. I'm not wearing a bonnet anymore. I probably slept without a bonnet for like a month straight. <laughs> like not protecting my hair at all. And honestly, in turn, now I'm paying for it because I have two thinning locks. Because obviously i had colored my hair about three times since since i first locked my hair my hair has been colored three times within the past year and these past couple of months is when i've been kind of on slugging on taking care of my hair and like i said i am paying for it now because i do have two thinning locks my mom brought it to my attention that the locks back here are definitely thinning so on thanksgiving i ended up having her combine these two locks back here because when I tell you they were hanging on by a thread 
I almost wanted to cry. <laughs> Cause like now I'm at the point where I love my locks and I don't want to cut them off. But if I have to, I really will. <laughs> but to salvage my hair, I had my mom, you know, do my retwist. I don't know if you guys can tell, just combine these two and she just twisted them and put a little rubber band on the end. Yeah, but as you can see, this is supposed to be two twists together and you can tell right here how thin and how fragile it is. So, honestly, I wasn't sure why my hair was doing that because, I mean, I thought I was taking some care of my hair. I didn't, didn't think it would be that bad, like legit, I didn't. But apparently it is, and the only thing that I can honestly equate to that happening is like literally because I colored my hair and I wasn't taking care of it. So if you are hell-bent on coloring your hair, just make sure that you can upkeep that color or avoid coloring your entire head. So now I completely understand why most people, well not most people, a lot of people with locks, when they get colored, they only do the tips. Hey, you live, you learn. That's why I'm here today to tell you guys. Take care of your color. And I wanted to go blonde. I'm not going blonde no time soon. I gotta let my hair bounce back and heal and do what it needs to do before. <laughs> I wanted to be blonde so bad. I wanted to be Berkio. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to be a little Berkio. I wanted to have my little dirt blonde. You feel me? And it's just not gonna happen no time soon. And it is what it is. The next one I want to go into is kind of similar to the last one, the um, avoid coloring locks. But like I said, there was a point in time where I was neglecting my locks. Some people might think that when you have locks, your locks don't require a lot. Which to some, it really doesn't. I know people who literally don't do anything to their hair and it thrives perfectly. But that's also because they probably don't have color like I do. But... There is a such thing as neglecting your locks. Like I said, I went through it. I wasn't doing anything to my hair. And what I would say to you is if you feel the need to not, I don't know, oil your hair regularly or treat it that way, the most, the, 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 at the bare minimum, try to wrap your hair up at night. If you're going to neglect your hair, at least wrap it up at night. So <laughs> you can try to have some type of hope for your hair. So when I say neglecting locks, that's literally not oiling it, that's not spraying it with the water, that's not thoroughly washing your hair out when you do wash it, um, that is not wearing your bonnets, preferably a satin bonnet, that is not covering up your edges because your edges still matter, like all of those things tie into neglecting your locks. And I went through it because I was going through something kind of mentally and I just didn't care, but like I said, I'm kind of paying for it now. If you don't want to be like me, just make sure you stay on your P's and Q's as far as your lock maintenance and honestly let me see we did the products we did over manipulating avoid coloring and neglecting my locks and honestly i don't think there's a number four i mean a number five <laughs> those are the main things that i've been able to take away from my lock journey um and other than that i love my locks there's nothing that i would change about them whatsoever even to this day i love my color even though it came with a cost but um yeah i encourage anybody who is looking to lock their hair if you really don't want to go through the ugly phase instant locks is an amazing way to start your lock journey because once they in there all you have to do is continue to get your retwist the way you would do any other lock I, honestly I'm trying to think i want to make it five because i told y'all five in the title and i want to be lying to people but five, what is something else? Hmm. It is something else. I don't think it is. Like I said, those are the only things that I know for a fact that I did and I wish I didn't do and things that I would suggest that you avoid doing from my personal experience. Number five is I wish I would have just completely loved on my locks when I first got them versus like, I don't know halfway loving them and feeling like I had to do all this other stuff for me to really like them when in actuality I've loved my hair since I first did my hair like and it just keeps getting better and better like <laughs> oh my god <sighs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you got this far you are greatly appreciated and don't forget to drop any comments down below if you have locks what are some things that you experienced with your locks that you wish you would have known and you can honestly tell me so in the future I don't be finding out no other stuff that I should and shouldn't I do please help me help you Let's help each other. It's a community. It's home, right? <laughs> it's home. We 
family. Yeah, no, but seriously, if y'all have any comments on any additional things to avoid when you have locks or if you have color in locks, please drop those down below. Not even just for me, but for other people who might come across this video because obviously so many things that I can talk about. I've only had my locks for four years. I mean, I've only had my locks for a year and, you know, I'm still kind of in like that beginning stage, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like I said, at underscore it's the Mac underscore. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 3. I wonder what tomorrow's gonna be like. What, what, what am I gonna do tomorrow? I don't know. Stay tuned. I don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, y'all have a good one. Bye.